primary election is only three months away, so political science experts say it should be no surprise that Jeff Fortenberry's campaign dropped their first ad of this election cycle. It's sure to be a contentious race for the 1st Congressional District, with incumbent Fortenberry facing federal indictment. Just a week ago, the current governor and the former governor endorsed Mike Flood over incumbent Jeff Fortenberry in the Republican race for Nebraska's first congressional seat. This Friday, Fortenberry fired back. Mike Flood supports giving taxpayer-funded health care benefits to illegal immigrants. The Fortenberry campaign ad seeks to tie Flood to President Joe Biden with a vote Flood made a decade ago. Pro-life means you're pro-life when, when it's easy and when it's tough. That's Flood in 2012, defending his support of a bill to fund prenatal services for low-income women. Then Governor Dave Heineman opposed it, arguing with others it would deliver services to undocumented pregnant women. Flood today echoed his 2012 comments to KUTV Newswatch 7. Jeff Fortenberry is lying about my record. Jeff Fortenberry knows why I voted that way. Nebraska Right to Life Executive Director Sandy Danick says the 2012 bill was fundamentally pro-life. The intent of the bill was to support women who are in an unplanned pregnancy, uh, giving them prenatal care. Flood, the state senator from Norfolk, insists he's firm on immigration policy and always has been. I support the wall. I support efforts to secure the border. We took Flood's concerns over the campaign ad back to the Fortenberry team. A spokesperson declined to comment and did not make the congressman available, instead referring us to the news release, saying, quote, over the course of this campaign, we will highlight Mike Flood's history of betraying conservative values. All of the evidence that we have is that that negative ads work. Um, and as long as they work, candidates are going to continue to use them. Creighton professor Richard Whitmer says campaign ads are notorious for painting only part of the picture. Our expectations are fairly low, and a lot of times candidates sort of meet those expectations. Governor Ricketts did not respond to our request for comment. A person who's represented Dave Heineman in other news releases did not offer any comment from the former governor. <laughs>